Halt. What is your business at the Brass Citadel? You're the Watcher. The one who nearly caused a riot in Queensbirth. Grand Secretary Atsura wants to meet you. His office is on the lower level of Imperial Command. Up the stairs. Once you're inside, go downstairs through the room on the right. Her office is at the back of Imperial Command. She is busy organizing other matters. But I am sure she will grant you an audience. With sails unfurled and sword held high, to battle for glory and Rautai. Faithfully done, Emiani. Report to Wakoyo Nui when your hands and your temper have healed. Beat it. I don't have time to chit-chat. Not a chance, Aimika. Fasina sent you, didn't she? Bostinago, just for these. Soft as down, but not a single fence willing to pay me a fair price. Maybe they've got imp stink all over them. <sighs> Should have guessed these were bad luck. Well, it's too late to go making smart decisions, isn't it? Here he comes. And I'm too late. If Hamuto doesn't give me an extension on my debt, I'm a dead man. So... Berteno, you hired a mercenary, or else a negotiator. That coin should have gone toward your debt to me. Huh? No, I didn't. Uh, that is, uh, I would never go behind your back. I... I like dealing with people of substance. This is a private matter. Your interference is unnecessary. Do I? One can be adherent to the tenets of maritime law and still be seen as a monster. Indentured servitude. I trust this is a more honest and respectable alternative than any pursuit he would take on his own terms. You must care a great deal for this insufferable little worm to stake your purse on his freedom. Four hundred pyres are what Berteno owes, and I will accept that sum to have this sorry business concluded. Then our business is concluded. I... I can't believe I'm finally out of debt. For the first time in my life, I'm free! Belfetto. Problems like this always work themselves out in the end. If you see Fasina, tell her I'm hiding out with some principy friends. Also, catch! It's a new Berteno all the way. Pirate Berteno doesn't get himself in anyone's debt. Looking for a pistol or an arquebus? Rawatai makes the finest guns in Aora, and I make the finest guns in Rawatai. Craftsmanship. If you ask my superiors at Imperial Command, they'll tell you our main exports are saltpeter and metal. 
Those are just things. They're prized because of what we do with them. Rawatayan industry is about discipline, precision, mastery of a careful art. Those qualities guide all that we build. I've been dreaming about a priest that died, then rose again. What do you think that means? I see him walking Aora. Nothing but bones, lit by the flames of his soul. I'm a merchant. I have business inside. You Green are islands and blue skies. The locals don't know how good they have it. The former Lady of Cadnua, and one time terrifier of Harbor Masters, if dockside tales are to be believed. You have not brought much good news of late. So, in addition to pirates, profiteers, and slavers, the Deadfire has a vengeful god roaming its waters? Just what the archipelago needs, one more disaster tugging at the seams. He must be stopped. If there were help to be found at the palace, do you think Deadfire would be such a mess? The Valians won't lift a finger if it isn't to snatch a coin. And the Huana will barely do that much. No? Tell it to the water shapers who washed your stranded boats from sandbars, Hasanui. No one takes charge to solve the big problems. But perhaps we could work together to our mutual benefit. Look around. Dead fires full of fertile, temperate islands. Except for Andra's mortar. It's largely free of rough weather. Yet much of it is uninhabited. Itinerant tribes drift between some of the islands, and smugglers and slavers cluster around the rest. It's a waste. Imagine what this place could be, with well-guarded shipping routes. How many Rawatayans we could feed with plantations here. You've got a way of charging into things full speed. Some might call it reckless, but I consider it valuable. If you're chasing the god who's stomping this place into the ground, then we have a common goal. And if you're going to survive here, then you could use an ally. The disaster at Hasongo remains a key concern. We rely on the port there to ship food back to Rawatai. That's on hold until you investigate. Short of that, there are other matters that demand attention. Atsura, our Grand Secretary, has a plan that would make use of your unusual talents. His office is downstairs. He can tell you more. Hazatoa. Atsura and I usually have a game running, and this one's been going on for over a month and a half. 
Atsura's good at misdirection, but I've got a mind for the long game. You look like you've come with a purpose. It happened a year into my first command. We were chasing pirates along Rawatai's south coast, and they landed a shot right next to our magazine. A lucky hit. I ran below. The fire was already spreading and making for our powder stores. I smothered what I could with my uniform, pulled the rest away with my own hands. We don't get to choose our challenges, do we? Just the way we meet them. There's a cost to every victory. And the win goes to those willing to make a sacrifice. I'll bet you already know a thing or two about that. And if you don't, Deadfire will teach you soon enough. I'll handle this. Those awful verses by the kitchen. They weren't that bad. Rhyming Hazanui with Kablooey? I can't think of anything else that goes with Hazanui. Me neither. That's why I leave epics to the lore college. Criticism is easier than creation.
Watcher Nui, the Lady of Katnua. I'm not one for ostentation, but your remarkable display at Queen's birth suggests that you are an individual with skills, not mere style. You are most canny, but I think we can do plenty for each other. Rawatai has long maintained trade interests in the region. While our homeland is rich in saltpeter, the violent climate... It's my business to look after the mainland's interests here. That is a Valian frivolity. Leave it to them to observe a substance that occurs nowhere else on Aora, and immediately set about pulverizing it for profit. Nothing. We know too little about Luminous Adra to understand the consequences of ripping it out. Perhaps you can help me keep them from doing more harm. It's not about what the Valians are doing to us, but rather to all of the dead fire. The demand for Luminous Adra has sent the Valian trading company into a frenzy. Their expeditions grow too bold, and their officers too greedy. Worse, their rapid expansion attracts pirates and threatens the outlying Juana tribes. This risks souring the Kahanga royals against all foreign involvement. But you can curtail their growth. By snapping up land, we need to grow food and build ships for our people? Indeed. But our interests and dead fires are not mutually exclusive. The Valians have sent an expedition to Pococahara, a storm-wrecked island believed to house a vein of luminous. I hear you accomplished an incredible feat in restoring the luminous Adra near Port Maje. If your abilities allow you to do that, then perhaps you are also capable of the opposite. Find the luminous Adra at Poco Kahara. Render it unusable to the Valians. This should encourage them to develop the resources they have rather than reaching for more. Dead fire is a tumultuous place. Consider the value of an ally with ships, cannons, and the backing of a great empire. I do not have the precise location of Poco Kahara, but the tribe on the nearby island of Tikawara could probably help. I suggest starting there. Now, what else can I do for you? It's a trading post, of course. Anything worth building is worth protecting. How do you mean that? It comes from years of practice. It's the only way I've learned to beat Karanui at Hazatoa. I'll take care of this. I ship out with some soft-handed runt. Why does your Ranga carve his name into a rock? The Ranga Nui. 
And it's a commemoration to show what he built. Oh. Then did your Reparo also write their names on other stones? Good day, traveler. I see you've taken an eye to my instruments. Well then, uh, questions? I'm a researcher in the medical sciences. And before you ask, no, I don't mean animancy. Neither do I mean magic, nor, gods forbid, necromancy. Medicine, medicine. Study of the kith body, its inner workings and such. I've misgivings about magic use. It's useful, I'll grant you that. But it's a crutch. Stunts our scientific development, you understand. Makes me a bit unpopular, as you can no doubt imagine. Which is why I've got this arquebus here. A patient of mine died under questionable circumstances. One morning they were fine, and the next they were dead. Someone is trying to discredit my work, I just know it but they won't succeed. I came here to the archipelago to evade my rival's attempts at sabotage, and there certainly is quite a lot of work in the Deadfire, I must tell you. I've told you of my troubles, I suppose it's the least I can do. Settle in now, I've got a lecture prepared for just this occasion. Of course, it will cost you 3,000 copper. Should you change your mind, you'll find me here. Be welcome. We gather to honor the goddess, for we must earn the strength to endure the darkest of life's battles. Muhai? Muhai has broken with Wahana. The queen has forbade that any should have contact with her. Ikira? She would be banished to the Undercity if not for her sickness, and now that has finished her. The sharing of resources among the tribe. For what do we let the Mataru rule us if not to dispense Wahana in fairness? A group of the Wapua came to seek Muhai's counsel, for she was known as a great navigator. Muhai was of the Oweki before she came to Nekataka. The Oweki and Wapua were enemies for many years, before Queen Onikaza's time. The Muhai misled the hunting party, and they were lost. All of us are Kahanga now. To harm Wapua is to harm Awiki. As Muhai turned her back upon her kin, so we were commanded to turn ours upon her. The Queen would have us join our tribes into one raised fist. She could not let Muhai's crime stand. I say, it was done for the good of our people. The traitors, they make war upon themselves. Each dousing another's flame, they are reduced to embers. And I say your queen is a shrewd leader. You should consider yourselves fortunate. There are those who kill by sword and those who kill by cunning. To the dead, it makes no difference. So too did she act on her own, against her own people. She does not deserve the honor of walking with the gods. It is good of you to care so for one of our people. Come. 
Give me the body. I will bury her beyond the great city walls. It is the best that I can do. You would defy the word of our queen? Muhai is dead. She has lost her final battle. Who says one's chance for redemption ends with death? For some, it's only the beginning. Come. Give me the body. I will bury her beyond the great city walls. It is that you are not of the Kahanga tribe. For what do you do this? And I as well. Muhai has brought great sorrow upon herself. You would defy the word of our queen? Come. Give me the body. I will do as promised. Thank you, outsider. The Wapua have their justice, and the Queen's law stands. You have done the right thing. I hear your talk. Who has turned your heart against me? The priest? Has he forgotten who we were? Never before would a member of the Awiki have been left to die alone. I upheld my tribe's honor, and for that I was abandoned, left to waste away, to hobble around my home with only maps for company. Now I will be buried like a secret, never to know Magrin's favor. Bereth will claim you in time, and I will be here, Watcher. I wait for you on this side. Each obstacle is a challenge we must answer. The We will witness a new beginning. So it is you. I could not think of a reason why your ghost should haunt the dead fire, save to haunt me. And that smacks of arrogance. Sister. Another collection of spirits? The rumor was that Kad Nua was destroyed, and you with it. I was sorry to hear it. I did in time, once I thought I had summoned up the words to explain what happened in the White March. None of it made much sense to the Regency, but my men stood by me. If I was mad, so were they. When the priest spoke of Aethys' return, I volunteered to come, along with a few of my men. I think the Morning Council was content to have me out of the way. That's putting it all very simply. But then, I suspect few of us have simple reasons for coming to the dead fire. Of course, I did not think. It must be difficult to see it so changed. I don't know. I came here on a pilgrimage of a kind. Nikataka is full of spirits. And the sea... Where to begin? Self-loathing is a blight on the soul, Adderick. Don't make your journey through hell darker than it has to be. I... You're right, of course, sister. 
You are a watcher still, yet you are neither mad nor killed. It's good to see the cure you sought and which I was weak enough to doubt. See, there, determination will win out every time. And now you are on to new challenges. That sword was only meant to keep you alive through your ordeal. It's fulfilled its purpose. Each missive from the Deadfire raises new tumult. Some believe our Lord restored, while others doubt. We've done penance for many long years. None of us know what forgiveness ought to look like. It doesn't seem like Aethys has his mind on forgiveness these days. Take care, and may the Shining God light your way. Right there, under the statue Surely of God. as I do. I'm sorry. Jody, I do hope you are not getting into trouble now. Who, me? <laughs> no, I wouldn't dream of it. Do swine stink like shit? I'm guessing you're not here to worship. Then what can I do for you? You did good helping Peatley with the infected. Anyone half so capable's got my ear. But I won't make you an empty promise. We tried. Shipped some shares for charity. Gods, nearly two years back. Had the means to do some real good. But the guards wouldn't have it. Sent it all to the palace to be shared out, proper-like. Never did see it again. Of course, we'd be glad to lend a hand. But how you see our shares reach the Ruparu this time? What makes you think it'll work now when it didn't then? All right. You wind up in the good graces of the Kahanga Royals. You get them to see the light, and I'll get you our food. <sighs> Nothing like a homecoming to make a girl remember her roots, even if they are dried up and half dead. Sometimes I wonder if my brethren don't think I got black ichor running in my veins. Suppose they do. Suppose sometimes people do bad things in the name of their gods. But my brethren do more good than bad. And more good than most. Besides, I often don't understand you, Watcher. But I ain't afraid of you. Is it? <sighs> Sakes alive. You shouldn't be so fine to me, Watcher. It makes me think untoward things. Gives me notions I don't need to be getting. I can't risk straying when I got a duty to gone. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. I've done this before, but never with such a full lantern. You may want to stand back. The uh, experience can be somewhat intense. I don't know if I feel cleaner, but I feel... something. 
Blessed, for sure. Let's just hope it lasts. Cause my lantern feels as heavy as ever. Full to brimming with essence. Like dark water spilling over my mind. I was born to reap souls and lead them to the light. Now with Aethys dead, and these dire visions, I think I need to shield them from a hell gone dark. But the more I gather, the more my mind turns to tatters. Not yet, no. But soon. Gone has shown me the common end. <sighs> that ain't gonna happen. You'd ask me to turn my back on my god? Why do you think the god of rebirth held an aspect of death within him? You can't have life without dying. There ain't no beginning without a prior ending. Ain't no day without night. No spring without fall. You can't grow crops if you never harvest for seeds. Aethys is dead, and gone is the death before life. He's the ripeness before the fall. That lumber and hunk of Audra might claim to be Aethys, but that doesn't matter a whit. He died, so he can't be Aethys anymore. Death changes every soul, even a god's. And if it doesn't, it should. All right, I'll be right behind you. May Aethys' light shine upon you. I can't believe it. Is that really you? And Adair, you made it out of Gilded Vale for good then. I'm glad. A lot more might have made it out if you hadn't left them for dead. I haven't forgotten. It's why I'm here, Adair. I kept to my word. I started trying to help around town like you told me. When the Holoborn curse ended, it was like... You can't imagine what that meant to everyone. Then word came through that the Dawn Stars were coming out here. That the Shattered God was back to being the Shining God. Places I tossed and turned about it. I figured there couldn't be a clearer sign. So now I'm doing what I can, handing out food mostly or delivering supplies. Familiar work, I guess. Took some getting used to working shoulder to shoulder with Raid Sarens, but it's not so hard as you'd think. Feels like I'm on the right path. Toward a little piece of redemption, maybe? You too, eh? Guess we're all making up for something. Would be nice to get some answers, maybe. Or... Forgiveness. For getting his people killed. I don't know. Doing my best, lady. Takehu, if you keep tugging on... My tentacles enjoy a good tug. I try not to take them by surprise, <laughs> after last time. Candles and bombs!
Yes? Uh, small wonder I was a terrible spy. Am I truly so obvious? Where to begin? He thinks some skill with water and a head of tentacles make him Ondra's blessing on land. <clears throat> I'm certain he's a perfectly good entertainer, but I have my doubts about his reliability. I should hope so. That's hardly the same. I apologize for any unseemliness on my part. This won't become a problem, I promise. The children of the Dawn Stars. I wondered if we'd run into them down here. There's someone I used to know, just a, an old friend. Came out here to settle with them last I heard. Maybe we should ask around, see if she's still out here. Might be she can help us. Just a friend, huh? Oh, uh, well, both grew up in Gilded Vale, same temple. All right, all right. We, we used to, uh, you know. <laughs> she was real loud, too. Used to have to cover her mouth or she'd get the dog howling in the next room. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. You're gonna like her. I got a good feeling. Do not leave me in suspense, I say. Have you found- If you have questions, the royal brother will hear you. Shortage. Are the Raparu not fed the leavings of the Quaru and Mataru? My sister would call this a test from the gods. It is our role to feed the Raparu, and we do not pass on our duties to outsiders. But I am of a different mind. Nothing pleases Ngati like an unlikely solution, and this is what you bring. If you have more to say, I am not above listening. Do not leave me in suspense, I say. Have you found Matario Kozi? Ask. Whatever I know is for you. Just so. Do not leave me in suspense, I... Like me much. Was it something I said? I think it was something I said. No, it's not. Uh, you're not doing anything wrong, exactly. Really? I mean, you tell me if you had a problem, right? If I'd bothered you this whole time? It's nothing personal. I just don't think we need to be talking, is all. Oh.
Onward. <laughs> Lava will be on sick. That's about as useful as a bump on a pickle. That's it. Uh, <laughs> worth the rough. Lava will be on sick. Hunger seems fair. That's I not very it. helpful. Show me where to find ah. the friends. Worth the rough. Onward. This will not do. <laughs> what do you need? I shan't. Yeah. Take that. Hey. I trust you. Ah, here you are again. What business brings you to my mill? Ha! <laughs> I need a large country estate and several handsome women to fan me with palm fronds. It is good for the heart to dream impossible dreams, yes? The Ardra belongs to the Valian Trading Company, Aimika. 
Unless you plan to open a bathhouse to rival Ganors in Periki's Overlook, we will take no orders from you. I cannot. Good day. Ah, what business brings... Ha! Huh. I need a large country estate and several handsome women to fan me with palm fronds. It is good for the heart to dream impossible dreams, yes? The Ardra belongs to the Valian Trading Company, Aimika. Unless you plan to open a bathhouse to rival Ganors in Periki's Overlook, we will take no orders from you. What business brings you to my mill? Good day. 